Hey what's up Spartans welcome back to another video so out of nowhere we all heard the disappointing news from T43 so I'm sure you know all of you guys are, are aware by now that they announced Forge and Camping Co-op won't be released at launch and so many people are you know are not happy with this uh, decision uh, there's there's anger in the, in the Halo community at the moment and man you know there was there was times where I was utterly confident into thinking oh T43 would definitely have Forge and everything else ready at launch you know I've been telling people this but man, you know, here we are, you know, T3 had, I don't know, like six years to work on the game, you know, which I thought they would actually get everything ready, you know, at launch, uh, you know, which is enough time. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on at T43. And hey, I will be fine with or without Forge not being there at launch. I'm not really a Forge map, map maker. I'm not that kind of a player, you know, who would hop into Forge and start making maps every time. I'm not at all. I'm more, way more into the campaign and matchmaking, you know, playing PvP, uh, but I do have a great time playing those Forge community uh, made maps, the ones people host in the server browser, you know, with Halo Reach currently. Like recently I've been playing a lot of uh, Halo Reacher parkour maps and I really have uh, fun playing those Forge maps and you guys uh, also play on those uh, Forge maps as well, right? Uh, so even if you're not a Forge creator, it still can affect you in some ways, you know, because you do play on those Forge maps. And now the co-op campaign, this one really bugs me more than the Forge mode and I'm sure you guys feel the same way because we play the co-op campaign with our friends, you know, or siblings or whatever, like since the very beginning, since Halo CE, literally all the time, right? And not having that launch isn't okay. And hey, for the rest of uh, you who play solo camping all the time, you know, you don't really play with friends and, you know, don't play with, with siblings or whatever, then you're good to go, you know? It's not really, it's not even a big deal for you guys, right? But for the people like me, and everyone else who plays uh, the camping with friends or siblings, whatever. This is very sucky for us, you know. It, it is, it, and it's really embarrassing that we're not going to have this at launch. Because people will pay for the campaign, but they can't do co-op at launch? In 2021, you know, in 2021, you know, you look at the previous Halo games. You know, you look at Halo 1 and 2 and 3. You know, those games have co-op, you know, Reach did, you know, and even like Halo 4. That is unacceptable, man. Like, this is, it's not good. It's very unacceptable. But 343 did say in Season 2, we get the campaign co-op and Forge will come into Season 3 sometime, sometime in 2022. Uh, I haven't read the full blog post yet, but you guys can read it. I will leave the link in the description for you guys to read. Uh, but honestly, we don't know if 343 will push it back further or, or like, we don't know if, if they're going to like, you know, like actually release it, you know, in season three or season two, you know, they could delay, delay it even further. They're always going to change their minds. And this isn't the first time this has, has, has uh, happened. Uh, I'm always hearing this excuse from 343 on how, you know, they were talking about how it was really hard for them to work on the game, work on the game together as a team because of COVID, which, which is true. But still, that's not really much of a good excuse for them because if you guys think about it, Halo Infinite was developed, uh, Development started in 2015 and COVID kicked in 2020, and they were all working together for four, you know, for four years without COVID. It was basically a normal life they were that we were all living in, right? That they were living in, and even those four years of development, it was still longer, you know, it was still a longer development than any other Halo games because all the Halo games were developed were developed uh, for three years. So I don't know why T43 keep on bringing this COVID excuse as if it was there since like 2015. If you look at Halo 5, there was no COVID, but it was still missing content at launch. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Honestly, as much as I love to see Halo Infinite being released in 2021 on November the 15th, I feel like the game should be delayed. Look, we don't know what else is missing at launch. We It might not just be Forge or Co-op campaign or, or assassinations. It could be game modes or maybe less multiplayer maps. Uh, I think it would be safer, you know, for the game if they delayed it again. And many fans, you know, actually want the same thing. You know, I mean, most people, you know, don't want that. You know, they are against, you know, against it being delayed. But I think it'll be, uh, I don't know, it'd, be, it'd probably be good for the game. For those who would say, oh, Halo Infinite will fail miserably at launch and the game's population will decline, this will be the end of Halo because of no Forge and Co-op. Well, to be honest with you, I don't see that happening at all. I still see many people will be playing it's multiplayer because it's free to play or because for that reason. What we need to remember guys, new players who will hop on Halo for the very first time, they won't even know what Forge is and they probably won't even care for co-op camping either. You know, they won't care for Forge. So they just want to play the PvP. That's what they are there for. 
so yeah, with or without Forge and co-op, I do believe, absolutely believe Halo Infinite's multiplayer will be ridiculously populated and it's going to be very enjoyable to, enjoyable to play for many new players and for us fans as well. Negative aside, when I saw the video behind the scenes during an interview with Joseph Staten and Sketch where they were showing the campaign and here, it looked freaking incredible, you know, like keep in mind of all of all the news we got from Forge and Co-op being delayed, I'm still incredibly hyped up for the campaign and the multiplayer. Like you see here behind, behind the scenes, it looks so good. Like I swear, I just can't wait to get my hands on this and Master Chief again looks amazing. You know, here, we, here if you look carefully, this is the 2020, uh, I think it's the 2019, is it the 2019? 2019 uh, trailer when we, where we saw the Master Chief and the pilot and the pelican. And, but, but here they look like, they look amazing. And, and these two new guns we see here, you know, they look really awesome. So yeah, there's, I'm still very, very, very like hyped up for the campaign. You know, I'm still very hopeful. And maybe, and look, maybe it's a good thing why they've delayed Forge. And we all know the fact that Hidden Planets Forge will be amazing. Uh, if we look back at Hidden Fires Forge, it was, it's so good. You know, I was really, really impressed on what they've able to pull off, you know, the community, you know, the, with the Forge tools. And if they do end up surpassing Hidden Fires Forge, then I'm all down for it, you know, for them delaying it. But six months seems to be a long time, so... You know, we don't know if they will release it in six months. It could be delayed again, but it better be worth the wait. You know, whatever whatever is that you guys are adding into Forge, it better be like, we. you best let us uh, uh, spawn AIs, man. You best let us, you know, make terrain. You best let us, you know, sp you know spawn in flyable pelicans. I'm not talking about the props. I'm talking about flyable pelicans. You know, uh, you know everything, you know. The co-op campaign, I still don't understand why that's not their launch. I mean... What other things are they doing to the co-op campaign? How different a co-op would be compared to the compared to the previous Halo games? Like, are we gonna have more than four player co-op campaign? Like, would it be six six player co-op campaign instead? I mean, that would be amazing though. Uh, that would be something. Um, whatever it is, it better be be special. But T43 did actually come up with a blog post on Reddit. They gave us the reason why co-op and Forge is delayed, but I didn't read it all. You know, I was too lazy to read it. Uh, it was a, it was a, such a long read. Uh, but I did see some of the comment section on, on the Reddit where people kept on saying, oh, T43 are, are basically lying. This isn't true. And some say, oh, oh, no, it is true. You know, we should give them time. I don't know. I, I, we don't know if they're telling the truth. You know, we're going to have to wait and see. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. You know, I'm still very hyped up uh, for Halo Infinite. Uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be playing its multiplayer and, and campaign. I'm still hyped. Uh, even, even if there's no Forge or Corp at launch, uh, but this is, you know, very disappointing news, you know, we've got so far. I mean, but look, but look at the end of the day, it's going to come. You know, Forge will come, Corp campaign will come, everything else will come. It's just not at launch, you know, like, I mean, over time, the game will progress. Uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for more Halo content and like the video. And don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Uh, we literally stream Halo every day on Twitch, so go ahead and drop a follow. And I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.